Hello everyone. Welcome to Expat Hydroponics. In this video I will discuss growing peppers with hydroponics. I will describe the effects of different nutrients so you can then recognize if lack or too much of certain elements are affecting the quality, yield or flavor of your pepper crop. As a bonus, there is a section on the Scoville scale that compares the heat or spiciness of peppers along with the chart. Growing pepper plants with hydroponics is a method of cultivating plants using nutrient-rich water instead of soil. In this method, the roots of the pepper plants are suspended in a water-based solution that is infused with all the necessary nutrients for growth and development. Hydroponics allows for precise control over the plant's nutrient intake, which can lead to healthier plants and more flavorful peppers. One of the key benefits of hydroponics is that it allows growers to closely monitor and adjust the nutrient levels in the water ensuring that the plants receive the precise amount of nutrients they need at all times. This can result in healthier plants, as well as peppers that are more flavorful and nutritious. One of the most important nutrients for pepper plants grown in hydroponics is nitrogen. Nitrogen is essential for the growth and development of leaves and for the production of chlorophyll, which helps the plant to photosynthesize and produce energy. A lack of nitrogen can cause the leaves of pepper plants to turn yellow and may result in poor growth and low yields. However, if the plants receive too much nitrogen, they may produce lots of foliage but relatively few peppers, or the peppers may be smaller and less flavorful. Phosphorus is another important nutrient for hydroponically grown pepper plants. It helps to promote strong root growth and is essential for the development of flowers and fruit. A lack of phosphorus can cause the plant to produce fewer flowers, which may result in a lower yield of peppers. Additionally, the flavor of the peppers may be less pronounced if the plant is deficient in phosphorus. Calcium and potassium are important for pepper plants, as it helps to strengthen the cell walls of the plant and prevent blossom and rot and improves disease resistance. Potassium also helps to improve the flavor and color of peppers. Magnesium is an important nutrient for pepper plants, as it is a key component of chlorophyll and helps to promote healthy growth and development. A lack of magnesium can cause the leaves of pepper plants to turn yellow and may result in poor growth and low yields. Sulfur is essential for the production of certain amino acids which are important for growth and development, as well as for the production of certain enzymes and vitamins that the plant needs to survive. Sulfur also plays a role in disease resistance. When growing pepper plants with hydroponics, it's essential to monitor the nutrient levels in the water and adjust them as needed. This will help ensure that the plants receive the precise amount of nutrients they need at all times, which can lead to healthier plants and more flavorful peppers. Additionally, monitoring pH levels and overall water quality will also help to ensure that the plants are receiving all the necessary nutrients in the correct amounts and absorbing them efficiently. Peppers are loved by many around the world, from mild bell peppers to fiery habaneros. But how do we measure the heat of a pepper? That is where the Scoville scale comes in. The Scoville scale was created in 1912 by a pharmacist by the name of Wilbur Scoville. It provides a way to measure the pungency or spiciness of a pepper in Scoville heat units, SHU. Pure capsaicin is what causes peppers to be spicy, and the Scoville scale measures the concentration of the capsaicin in peppers. The scale ranges from 0 to 15 million SHU, with bell peppers having 0 SHU and the hottest peppers, such as the Carolina Reaper, measuring in the millions. Here you can see the scale in chart form with peppers increasing in intensity as you go up the scale. Peppers are found in many dishes around the world. Understanding the Scoville scale and being familiar with the Scoville units can help you create spicier or milder versions of your favorite meals. Overall, using hydroponics to grow pepper plants can lead to healthier and more flavorful peppers, as the method allows for precise control over the plant's nutrient intake. With careful monitoring and adjustments, hydroponic pepper plants can be a great way to achieve a high yield of delicious peppers. Thank you again for listening and please remember to subscribe.